All right, this is going to be another very familiar topic, I hope. Uh, solve this system using elimination. So with elimination, we're trying to eliminate a variable. So I'm going to take this top row and multiply it by 2. So I've got x plus 2y equals 7. I'm going to take that and multiply it by 2. 2x plus 4y equals 14. So thinking about our TOK questions, how do we know this method works? How do we know that this is okay to do? And we're going to talk about that in class. I'm going to take my second equation and multiply it by negative 1. So negative 2x plus y equals negative 4. Now I'm going to add my equations. If I add my equations, the x value eliminates and I get 5y equals 10. So this implies that y equals 2. Alternatively, I could have multiplied my bottom equation by 2 and left the top equation alone. So if I had done that, I would have had the system x plus 2y equals 7, and then 4x minus 2y equals 8. If I had added those, I would have ended up with 5x equals 15, and x equals 3. So notice I've used elimination to have a solution of x equals 3, y equals 2. I can come back and check this. 3 plus 4 is 7. 6 minus 2 is 4. So I know that my solution is true. And the things that I did uh, to solve this using elimination were what we call elementary operations. So we can interchange any two equations. So I could have written either equation first, multiply by a non-zero constant, replace an equation with the sum of that equation and a multiple of another. So that's what we did here. Yeah. So we're going on the basis that performing a finite number of elementary operations produces an equivalent system. So not necessarily equivalent equations every time because 5y equals 10 is not equivalent to any of these, but an equivalent system meaning I'll end up with the same solutions.